Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can launch Ubuntu machine at AWS. We have opened here AWS console. Here you need to search EC2. We will be using it EC2 to launch Ubuntu machine. Then you need to click on that. Thereafter, you need to also select here in which particular region you want to launch your machine. There are many regions available. You can select any of these regions. So I'm just going to leave it as default North Virginia. In North Virginia, I'm going to create here. I, I, I'm going to launch here a EC2 machine here. So you will get here an option that launch instance. You need to click on launch instance. All right. So there you get here a launch instance. Otherwise, if you don't want to go with that particular path, you can click on here instances. Then you will see there is no instances. Then you can click on launch instance from here. Then you need to give here a name of instance which you want to give to your machine here. So I'm going to give here a name as uh, YouTube. All right. Thereafter, it says that which particular application or, or operating system you want to run on your machine here. So this is machine name. Now let me tell you here, like you have your machine on your local system, it has some name and then it has some operating system installed on your machine there. So that operating system you need to select here. I'm going to launch here Ubuntu machine. So you need to select here Ubuntu. There are many other type of options available there. Thereafter, it says that I'm eligible to the free tier. That means this particular machine is not going to cost if I am uh, I'm falling in a free tier. All right. So that's the machine here. And if you want to change your machine type, you can simply change that. But particularly, I'm going to select here Ubuntu 22.04. So as of now, at current date in 2023, this uh, Ubuntu server 22.04 is the latest version there. And the architecture I'm going to use here 16, 64 bit 86 architecture. It provides two type of options here, whether you can launch Intel or AMD machine and here ARM, ARM machine. But I'm going to use here Intel and the AMD machine. Once all these things are done, then I'm just going to I'm just going to select here T2 uh, uh, micro. All right. So this one is very small uh, uh, instance, which have just one CPU and one gigabyte of uh, memory. Running power for this particular instance is very low. So if you run these type of instance, it's not going to cost you much. After doing all these things, then you come to here a key pair login. So this is very important step here. You need to select a particular key pair if you have here. Otherwise, if you do not have any key pair, then you need to create here a new key pair, which you will be using to log in your Ubuntu machine here. So I'm going to create here the name of key pair is YouTube and the key pair type is RSA. You can choose any of these, whatever you want. Thereafter, I'm going to select here dot PAM file. Then I'm just going to create here, create this key pair. It will download your YouTube.pm. Do remember once it is created, you can download it only once. There is no other options to download it second time. So make sure that when you create this new key pair, you make sure that you store this key pair uh, safely. Otherwise, you will not get option to download it second time. Thereafter here, it provides a lot of options for network setting. So this particular part says that from where you want to access your machine. So if you say there allow SSH traffic from anywhere, that's mean you are going to open your machine to everyone in the world. But if you know your IP, your particular IP, then you can simply say that custom IP and then you can give your particular IP from where you want to allow access for your machine. So for time being, I'm going to allow access to my machine from anywhere so that I can remove the dependency of the IP here. So I'm going to just allow here SSH traffic. There is no other traffic which will be allowed to my machine here. 
all right so ssh traffic comes at the port 22 that means our machine has opened only port 22 for external world access if you run any application on your machine other than port 22 then you may not be able to access it from the outside world all right here it says that how much space you want for your machine so for time being i'm going to keep here a 30 gigabyte of the ssd speed ssd size here for my machine and it has already a single core and one gigabyte of the ram which we have previously already seen so this is all you need to do uh, for uh, launching an instance on ec2 once you have selected all these necessary uh, configuration thereafter you can simply click on launch instance then it's going to launch your instance it may take a while to launch your instance because it is going to create a new machine and then it will be launching that here so it says that it has successfully initiated the launch sequence let's go ahead and click on here it will open here your machine or instance which is being launched here the name of instance clearly says that it is youtube here is instance id and instance state is pending so once this instance state changes to the running then you have your instance in running state thereafter it has here instance type and so many other type of the parameters and then here it has here a public ip4 so this is the public ip here and uh, this is public ip4 dns and here is the public ip4 all right so if you click on instance here then you would be able to see the details of uh, each uh, particular details for this uh, 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 for this instance so this is complete uh, uh, the details for this instance you can check the status of your instance you can monitor your instance if you want to monitor your cpu utilizations or any other health checks all these things you can do it simply from here let's go ahead and come to here the set of uh, uh, instances we have just single instance you can click on here and then you can click on connect so once you click on connect it will it will tell you here uh, 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 the many types of uh, you know there are many ways to connect your instance you can directly connect from here or you can use a session manager or you can use here ssh client or ec2 serial console any of these things you can use to connect your machine and our machine a default username for any ubuntu machine at the ec2 is ubuntu there I'm just going to simply click on connect sometimes in browser it don't connect uh, uh, it do not connect so I'm just going to see if it connects from the browser then it's good otherwise I'll be showing you how you can connect it from your local machine so seems like from the browser we have successfully connected our machine here and now you can see the details of your machine with the df minus h this says that the disk free and it says that there are total 29 gigabyte of the root directory there in that six percent six percent of ssd is used and the rest 94 percent of ssd is free you can check here du.h that's the disk uses so it says that there is not much of the disk uses here other than that you can check with the htop so htop is command there in ubuntu to check your machine details and the cpu and the memory uh, utilization it says that there are the total one gigabyte of uh, ram memory 221 megabyte memory is being utilized here and almost zero percent of cpu is being utilized here so this was one way to connect your machine you can simply press here Control and c to disconnect this h top you can use here ls to just see that your machine here now let me show you the another way with using this ssh client so with the help of this ssh client you will be needing your pam file here so you have youtube.pam file so this youtube.pam file is downloaded here in my download directory so inside this download directory i'm going to open a terminal here if you do not open terminal in download directory you need to you need to uh, navigate your directory to this particular download directory now that's where i have there 
once you get that then we need to come back to our uh, we need to come back to our ec2 uh, uh, connect instance page in that you need to run here chmod 400 youtube so that you can make it uh, 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 read only and you can avoid its public visibility so for that purpose you need to again come back here and then you need to just run here a chmod 400 youtube.pm after running this particular thing seems like it is not able to recognize this this uh, uh, the chmod so in that case you need to open here a command prompt then you need to go to here do uh, download there all right let's go ahead and run it here again it says that the ch mode is not recognizable okay so what happens here in windows power cell and in windows command prompt the ch mode is not recognizable so for that purpose you need to use their git bash so i'm going to use this git bash to make sure that it works here so you just simply go to your download folder there inside that i run here chmod 400 youtube.pm now you see there's it has simply ran that after that you need to click your machine so i write here ec2 machine and all these dns this is the dns name so i simply write here ssh minus i that says that where is my identity file so my identity file is here and then this is machine uh, uh, the public dns so i simply copy this whole thing from here and then i go here and then i just simply click on here so after that you would it will ask you if you want to connect with your machine yes i do want to connect with my machine now i have successfully connected with my machine so i have shown you the two way how you can connect with your ubuntu machine now whatever application you want to install on your ubuntu machine you can install and you can run your application on ec2 so this particular ip is accessible from anywhere in the world because i have made such a provision while uh, creating my while creating my instance if you want to change that uh, settings you can simply click on instance setting and then you can change your setting or whatever the settings you want to change here you click on networking you can you 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 come with you know uh, the networking settings here and so many other type of settings you can access from here itself you click on uh, the security then you click on uh, change security group so this is particular security group this security group allows my ip to access it from anywhere in the world like you had seen at the start of video lecture all right so this is how you can create ubuntu machine on aws now you can run your application here so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching this i'll see you in next one